Morning. Welcome to my first test run of my new servo drive setup DCC for my O gauge layout 4 gig east. As you can see, I'm using Merg steady state accessory decoder and a Merg servo 4 servo driver board connected together as per the instructions supplied by Merg. A little bit of board modification needed. As you can see, lots of wire links and components missing from just here and the resistor network blanked off there and there's a wire link underneath the board there to provide a zero volt line, reference line so that the servo driver gets its uh, active low switching input. I'm using at the minute an SG92 servo which matches up nicely to the ones that John Fitness, who's building the signals for me, is using. You'll also notice that I've done a, an authorised modification. All the Merg literature states that you need a ex separate external power supply for these boards. But I've just looped round the DCC track input into the input socket. Just there. And it's not taxing the uh, system too badly as you can see it's only pulling 0.04 of an amp and you'll see the current will rise when the servo moves but that's not too it's not too much of a problem so here we go so if i do i'll do the select accessory and one comes up as default enter and then if i hit one to turn the Servo signal on, the signal moves. Again, select accessory, the default one, hit two to turn the signal off. And there you have it. Two Merg boards successfully connected together with a little bit of an unauthorized modification on my part just to make wiring easier because uh, I'm just going to power everything from the DCC accessory bus. I've got a separate external power supply for my uh, controller which, which, which just gives me 3 amps which will be plenty to drive over this little lot once it gets installed in the, on the layout. As you can see, if I again do run the servo, watch the current drain. Ooh, I'd already done that one. Sorry, here we go. Let's set it to 1. You see it jumped up there just to 0.18 of an amp as the servo was initially starting to move. I'm sure we can cope with that with a 3 amp power supply. 